Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to give you an update about the damage module from Nje. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so this is a comment that I've gotten many many times since I've uh, uh, posted the video about the damage laser module and that is whether or not I have some feedback about it or if I actually managed to repair it. Now, um, if you're following my channel, you perfectly know uh, which video I'm talking about in the laser module that I'm talking about, but if you haven't watched that video or if you're watching my channel for the first time, I'll put the link in the video description below or also I will uh, put a card popping out here on the corner so that you can go and watch. So basically, um, the laser module that came shipped with the machine after a couple of months of use, uh, burn out. Um, now, not exactly burn out, but got damaged. And so, um, back then in that video, I did my uh, preliminary assessment to the card, and also I gave you uh, my thoughts on what I think caused the problem. And so, um, in short, what I think caused the problem is the manual handling of the axis, a little bit too fast movement basically created a current uh, from the stepper motor going back to the um, board, the, the controller of the uh, laser module itself, uh, burning out something. Now, uh, if you remember, I did uh, the assessment to the board and I didn't really find anything, um, and you know, damaged. So the only thing that was out of the ordinary was a small component uh, that had no label on it. Now, to date, I can confirm uh, with 100% certainty that the component, that's the component that caused the problem and that that's the component because I gave uh, an actual name and uh, number to that component, if that's the correct one, because obviously I had no uh, label on it. So, uh, the thing is that uh, sometimes certain components, especially ICs, they just need to overheat a little bit to overcome their uh, threshold temperature so they get damaged. And as a result, instead of uh, giving you a visual clue that something is wrong, uh, simply the label gets erased by the heat. And so, taking that idea uh, on board, I thought that perhaps that was um, the faulty component that was causing the behavior. Now the behavior uh, was basically like if the machine uh, wouldn't ever go out from the initialization phase. And that's because powering up the machine would have caused the laser to basically uh, blink. Uh, which in my view it was like trying to initialize the laser module but never really uh, getting about it. And so it would have then repeat that uh, endlessly. So now I went ahead and buy the component that I thought it was faulty and that I thought it is actually. So um, looking at the board there were two components next to each other looking alike with six pins and so uh, I basically order the same component like the one that is next to it. Now, I don't have the schematics of the board, so I have no clue on whether or not I was right, whether or not I am right. Uh, but fact is that that component turns out to be a MOSFET, which is usually uh, used for uh, power control. And so I thought that uh, having a double MOSFET would have make uh, sense in that kind of board. So I went ahead, I've ordered it, and now I did my final test. Now, my board was additionally damaged uh, during this assembly. Basically, I snapped the pins that were connecting the uh, controlling board to the lower board where the diode is actually uh, soldiered. And so, <clears throat> the first thing that I had to do is to basically recover that board and then to go ahead and to try everything else. Now, uh, I didn't have the perfectly right equipment for uh, uh, pads and trays recovery, but uh, I've used a simple copper wire uh, in trying to connect. So basically I did like uh, flying traces just for the sake of 
test. Now, if you look close, uh, the laser module you have four pins. These four pins are connecting the lower board to the upper board. Uh, what I ended up doing is I managed to weld three out of four pins. Now, again, I don't have the details, the schematics of the card, but looking a little bit closer the board, I thought that perhaps uh, only two or three of the pins were actually are actually used by the board, and one was there simply because usually the pins are in set, two, four, six, and so on, and also this adds actual uh, structural uh, stability, you know, the connection between the two boards. And so I basically decided to go ahead and to um, simply solder the three pins and to leave the fourth pin unsolder. It's there, but it's actually uh, not soldier. Now, uh, I welded everything back together without replacing the component, and it turns out uh, replicating the same problem, so the laser module is flashing once again. And so I believe that uh, the third pin, uh, as I assumed, it's there just it's dumb, it's not really connected to nothing. Now, after that I went ahead and replaced the components that I thought is guilty, it's faulty, but unfortunately guys, this didn't solve the problem. Um, so once I powered that back on with the new component, the same problem persisted, blinking once again, which means that perhaps the component that I've replaced is actually the component that I thought it is, so like the same like the one that is next to it, which is a MOSFET. Uh, however, I cannot say if this is uh, the actual problem. Now, a while ago I received an email from one of you and you shared a picture of your board, you claimed that you had the same problem, you shared the picture of your board, and I noticed that the exact same component is again without label, which was interesting for me because this was like a double confirmation that this component had to be somehow connected to the damage. However, uh, not knowing how the original board, original card looks like, I cannot really say if that's correct. Actually guys, if you have seen your board for the same laser module and your component, the component that I'm pointing at, has no label, let me know in the comment below so that I know what I'm actually doing because if that's the case that means that it's like an anonymous component and so this could or could not be the problem. After making the test uh, which was not successful I went ahead and I desoldered once again the lower board so basically the board that goes to the uh, actual diode and I tried to power the board uh, directly without having the uh, bottom component attached and this ended up uh, burning out the small chipset that is on the board now I don't know if the test that I did is actually uh, correct I would actually not recommend you to replicate that um, I don't know the board what is doing I also don't know what the chipset is. Now, I eventually found uh, the component online on AliExpress. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find an understandable data sheet because it's everything in Chinese. And so I don't have a clear clue of what the component is doing. The only thing that I was able to understand is that actually it's performing logics. So it's actually doing something more than what it looks like. My assumption were partially correct even if i cannot really confirm if that's the right component however now i have some additional clue and so uh next i've already ordered uh the replacement board which is now available uh, on major's website so at the time when uh, my module got damaged there were no replacement for that but now i saw that uh uh, both in the official website and also in the on AliExpress you can actually buy 
the controlling board. All right. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, although it wasn't successful, perhaps it might help you out at least uh, to don't waste your time and money after I already did the test myself. And so I highly recommend you to stay tuned to my channel to see the upcoming video once I receive the board and the component so that I can do my various tests. I really hope not to burn the uh, new component. So uh, that will be on my expenses anyway. Now, if you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now.